Here's some notes on counter-regulatory hormones. These are hormones that oppose insulin's effects and increase hepatic glucose production, as opposed to insulin, which decreases hepatic glucose production. The main one that people think about is glucagon as a opposing hormone to insulin. Glucagon stimulates hepatic glycogenolysis. It also stimulates gluconeogenesis and ketogenesis. Its secretion is triggered by hypoglycemia, protein intake, endorphins, exercise, growth hormone, epinephrine, and glucocorticoids. And it's suppressed by somatostatin, insulin, and glucose infusion or glucose ingestion. Another counter-regulatory hormone are catecholamines like epinephrine. These promote glycogenolysis and gluconeogenesis via hepatic beta-2 adrenergic uh, receptors. They synergize with glucagon and they amplify the effects through increased cyclic AMP in the liver. Another counter-regulatory hormone is cortisol, which also synergizes with epinephrine and beta-adrenergic agonists to enhance gluconeogenesis. Now, the mechanisms are, have previously been mentioned. Glucagon and catecholamines increase cyclic AMP and enhance glycogenolysis and gluconeogenesis, and cortisol amplifies epinephrine's effects, supporting glucose production. And again, all of this is in contrast to insulin, which is an anabolic hormone that increases glucose transport into adipocytes and myocytes. Uh, insulin also stimulates glycogen production, um, glucose oxidation, and inhibits lipolysis, fatty acid oxidation, and ketogenesis. And insulin also promotes amino acid transport and protein synthesis in the muscle, adipose tissue, and 